is Muhammad Ali. I am pharmacist by profession. I have 40 years of experience working in a pharmaceutical industry. I work for big names like Johnson & Johnson and Novartis. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to perform content uniformity test on tablets based on European Pharmacopoeia. This tutorial will be helpful for those who are working in pharmaceutical industry and also those who are engaged in auditing pharmaceutical processes when content uniformity test is needed. According to European Pharmacopoeia, content uniformity of active in tablet doses is needed when the dose is less than 25 mg when the ratio of active and tablet mass is less than 25 percent. Uh, example is uh, dexamethasone 0.5 mg tablet. Uh, since, since the tablet contain only 500 microgram of the active or, or 0.5 mg of the active. So here, here, here in this case the content uniformity test is needed. Dextromethazone is a, a corticosteroid. It is commonly used for the treatment of the inflammation of the lungs. So it is a very, very potent drug. Here we need to do the content uniformity test. For content uniformity test, we must have a representative sample on which we can conduct the content uniformity test. And here is the, uh, here I am going to explain for what is the sample size for the content uniformity. Draw 30 number of the tablets randomly during the compression of the tablet. In case of coated tablet, draw 30 number of the tablets randomly from the different places of the coating pen. When coating process, now let's talk about the level 1 testing. <coughs> we have to do the individual assay of the 10 tablets and we have to find out the average assay of the 10 tablets and we also have to find out the standard deviation of these uh, 10 assays. If the average uh, uh, content of uh, 10 tablets is between 98.5% and 101.5% then we have to calculate then we can calculate the acceptance value uh, by uh, by multiplying uh, standard deviation with 2.4. This 2.4 is uh, acceptability constant. If if uh, the number of tablets is 10, then then acceptability uh, constant will be 2.4. Now, in case if we get the average assay more than 101.5% uh, then we have to subtract 101.5% from the average assay of the 10 tablets and then we have to add this to the product of uh, 2.4 and standard deviation. Now in other case if uh, the average assay of 10 tablets is uh, less than 98.5% then we have to subtract average assay of the 10 tablets uh, from 98.5% and then we have to add to with the product of uh, 2.4 and standard deviation of the 10 samples. If the acceptable value is not more than a specification which is <coughs> 15 the acceptable value uh, must uh, must be less than 15 if, 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 if it is less than 15 that means our sample is complying to the criteria now if the acceptance value is more more than specification that is if, 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 if it is if, if it is more than 15 then then we have to do the assay of remaining uh, re remaining 20 tablets and and this kind of testing is called the level 2 testing now we uh, now we have to calculate the uh, the average assay of 30 tablets and 30 individual tablets and 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 we have to calculate the standard deviation of uh, 
assay of 30 tablets. If if our average assay of 30 tablets is between 98.5% and 101.5%, then we can calculate then we can calculate the acceptance value by multiplying standard deviation of uh, 30 tablets with, with 2. Here the accept acceptability constant for 30 tablets is 2. Now, 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 now in, 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 in other case if the average assay of uh, 30 tablets is more than 101.5 percent then we have to subtract 101.5 percent from the average of 30 tablets and then we have to add this to the product of uh, 2.2 uh, and uh, standard deviation of 30 tablets now if in, 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 a, in, in other case if uh, average is less than 98.5 percent then we have to subtract average assay of uh, average assay of 30 tablets from 98.5 percent and then we add this to the product of 2 and standard deviation of 30. If the acceptance value is uh, less than 15 then we say that uh, 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 our product is, 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 is complying to the specification. We have to find out the specification for minimum and maximum value of the assay of the 30 tablets in case of level 2 type of the testing. Now how to calculate the minimum allowable value of individual assay is, uh, uh, is uh, 1. Uh, minus to the product of L2 and 0 0.01 and then we have to multiply it with the average assay of 30 tablets. Here the uh, uh, L, L, L2 is a constant which is 25. Now for the calculation of maximum range uh, we have to uh, add, uh, uh, add 1 to the product of L2 and 0 0.001 and, and, and then we have to multiply it with the average assay of 30 tablets. Again here, here L2 is equal to 25 which is a constant. Here is example for level 1 testing. We have to do the assay of 10 individual tablets and we have to find out the average assay of the 10 tablets and we have to calculate the standard deviation of these 10 tablets. Uh, here the average assay is 100.4% uh, and standard deviation is 1.103. Since average assay is, uh, uh, is, is between 98.5% and 101.5% then, then, then we can calculate the acceptance value by multiplying the standard deviation which is 1.103 with 2.4 which is a constant value acceptable constant value and 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 we get the acceptable value 2.6 this acceptance value is less than 15 so so so, so our, 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 our product is uh, meeting the content uniformity test now let's take another example here is the 10 individual assay of the 10 tablets and the average assay is 102.3 percent and the standard deviation of these 10 tablets is 1.161 since this this assay 102.3 is, is, is more than 101.5 percent then we have to calculate the acceptance value by this formula. We have to subtract 101.5 percent from the assay of uh, 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 average assay of the 10 tablets which is 102.3 percent and then we have to add this to the product of 2.4 and 
sample standard deviation. If you calculate all this uh, acceptance value will come out to be 3.6. Again, this 3.6 is less than this uh, less than 15. That means our product is meeting the content uniformity specification. Now let's uh, uh, see the, the the level two type of the testing. Now first we have to uh, do the uh, individual assay of 10 tablets. Let's say the individual assay of 10 uh, average assay of 10 tablets is 99.7 percent, and the standard deviation and the standard deviation of these 10 tablet assay is uh, 6.3811 average uh, uh, assay uh, uh, is between 98.5 percent and 101.5 percent now we, we, we have to calculate the acceptance value by multiplying this this standard deviation with 2.4 which is a constant value if we, 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 when we multiply 2.4 with the with, with 6.381 which is the standard deviation of 10 tablets we get uh, acceptance value 15.3 now this 15.3 is more than 15 hence hence our content uniformity for 10 tablets is not complying so we have to do more testing we have to test the remaining uh, 20 tablets and, and, and we have to find out the uh, average of total 30 tablets. Now here is the average assay of for total 30 tablets which is 99.8 percent and the standard deviation of these 30 assay is 4.526. To find out the uh, the acceptance value, we have to since since this uh, uh, this, uh, this 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 ninety eight point eight percent SA is between ninety eight point five percent and hundred hundred one point five percent. We have to find out and the acceptance we we can find out the acceptance value by by multiplying the standard deviation which is 4.526 with 2 when, when we multiply 2 with uh, 4.526 we get acceptance value 9.051 now this acceptance value 9.051 is less than 15 hence in, in, in this case uh, our product is meeting the um, in the content uniformity specification content uniformity uh, uh, specification is met according to the European pharmacopoeia and now this is how how we calculate the content uniformity of the tablets and uh, as I told you before that content uniformity of tablet is very very important in case of potent and life-saving drug. Now let, let's take another example. Now, now he, he, here is the average assay of 10, ta 10 tablets which is 99.7% uh, and the standard deviation of these 10 tablets is uh, uh, is uh, is 6.381. Since uh, 99.7 is uh, 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 as a value is between 98.5 and 101.5, we have we 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 have we, we can calculate the acceptance value by multiplying the standard deviation, which is 6.381, with 2.4. Now. When we multiply 2.4 with 6.381, we get 15.3. Now, this 15.3 is more than 15. That means our 10 tablets is not meeting the specification for content uniformity. Then we have to do 20, uh, SA of 
remaining 20 tablets. Now here is the assay results of 30 individual tablets and the average assay of 30 tablets is 101.3 and the standard deviation of these 30 assay is 7.71 now to find out the acceptance value we have to multiply the standard deviation with 2 which is a constant value if, if, if you, when you multiply 2 with uh, 2 with 7.710 we get 15.4 now here in this case ex acceptance value is more than 15 uh, 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 our, our limit is for acceptance value is that it, it must be less than 15 if it is it is more than 15 that means our product is not complying to content uniformity test so this is how we calculate level 1 and level 2 testing for the content uniformity according to European pharmacopoeia thank you very much